the most extravagant, flamboyant, eccentric, and gorgeous team in WWE history. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 357 pounds, the NXT UK Tag Team Champions, Elton Prince and Kim Wilson, pretty deadly. Here's a team who are completely in sync with each other. The epitome of teamwork. Yeah, they're also in sync when it comes to annoying their opponents as well. Yes, boy! Stop saying that. Come on, Byron. Give me one. Yes, I boy! Not. No, I'm not saying it, Corey. Do it. Do it. kind of them allowing the WWE Universe to bask in their wonderfulness. Well, I have to admit, they're as dangerous as they are flamboyant. Pretty much like their name says. No doubt, one of the biggest and baddest to ever and do it. First, from the land of the rising sun, weighing in at 558 pounds, Yokozuna! He is a multiple-time WWE Champion, the winner of the 1993 Royal Rumble, and a truly unstoppable athlete. You can't get him over the ropes or off his feet. Yokozuna is truly an immovable object. Unfortunately for his opponent, all of Yokozuna's weight and power is about to be focused on them. Brooks Jensen is here, and he is ready for a brawl. And from Radburn, Alabama, weighing in at 243 pounds, Brooks Jensen! Beers and brawling on the menu tonight with Brooks in action. Yeah, it's certainly not a man you want to anger in the ring or in a bar. One thing about Brooks is he knows when to hold him and knows when to fold him. Yeah, but Byron, I don't think he knows how to walk away or how to run. He is as fearless as they come. The two goofs in the super crop tops are Kit Wilson and Elton Prince, collectively known as Pretty Deadly. Goofs? Cole? These two men are as professional as they come. They come into work every week to take care of business. It's not a crime to look good doing it. In fact, I think the only crime around here is one of fashion. And I'm looking in your direction when I say that. And the Saxtons, too. Well, I would love to see some of that professionalism in this match, then. That would be pretty deadly, if you ask me. There's a lot of heat between these teams. I expect some personal shots to be taken in this one. I think the personal shots began before the match even started, and now it's a matter of what team can keep a cooler head towards victory. Lands face first. A 
this is just establishing dominance. Oh, oh, a stop right to the chest. Are you kidding me? He could do it here. He's able to kick out before two. He is certainly sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. Counters that. He went right into that turnbuckle. Watch out! Oh, great teamwork. That'll crack a rib. When you see a unit as aligned as they are, it's really incredible. To the back of the neck. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. Look at this, going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. You can see the intent behind that attack. Exploiting the arm must be the strategy here. Punishing the leg. That kind of focused attack on the leg could provide dividends. T-bone into a power slam. Impressive. An unyielding showing of authority. No two ways about it. Hooked him up. Whoa. And a suplex. Three. Bad predicament right here. Oh, watch this, fellas. Into the barricade. Grabs the leg. Look at this. He just tossed the leg. It wasn't the height. They certainly contributed. Kit turns that around. And tag. He's in now. Finally. Oh. Nice clothesline. Oh. Fuck Jack. Gosh. Landing face first. He's absorbed some damage already. And Yokozuna giving as good as he could possibly get there. And there is no other term for that than just cheap, a cheap shot. Oh my, is it enough here? And a shoulder in the air. Starting to see the tolls of this match add up. into the ring. Whoa. Placed into the corner. Tag, is good. Tag made. Double team coming. Kicks right to the gut. Clubbing blow to the back. That was that chemistry you cannot teach. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Getting the upper hand by taking away your opponents. A neck breaker. And shoulders are down. Oh my, how in the world did he kick out of that? Still in it. Reversed. Oh man, taking it. He thinks he has it. He gets the shoulder up at two. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. Oh, targeting the arm. This has got to hurt. Kit feeling a sense of confidence here. He's trying to intimidate his opponent one more time, but he's got to strike soon. Boot to the stomach gives them separation. A neck breaker. Yokozuna's not looking as imposing or unstoppable after absorbing that attack. Ripping at the eyes. 
What a headbutt. Vicious. He's tagging out. Yoko Suna is just begging for a fight. Tough position to be caught in here. What a punch. The better part of Valor. Soon here. Ah, oh, flapjack! Gosh, landing face first. And these competitors are really laying it all on the line here. You can just tell how badly they want it. Contact. We are European uppercut. 
Yokozuna encountering some serious resistance that time. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Toss down. Jensen setting up. Got out of that position with the desperation jawbreaker. Snapmare takedown. Oh my, single leg drop kick. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. He gets tagged in. Clutch their opponent's wrist, and look at this. And now a series of stomps and kicks. Punch connects. What a clothesline! Ouch! Get him into the corner. Forearm smash! And listen to this place. Hoping to end it here. And he stops the count for his partner. And full control here. Face first. Gets him with the counter. Set it up. Nice neck breaker. Nice side headlock applied. Oh, oh and a right hand for good measure. And off the tag. Big punch finds its mark. Section. Hooked up. Driven down. Enable to counter. The end may be in sight for his opponent here. Might want to walk it off or shake it off or do whatever he needs to do to get his head in the game here. <laughs> oh, big boot. That's one for Prince before. Reap, this is chaotic. Come on, rep. Ooh, clothesline delivered. running out. Getting carried. Unsure what they're thinking. Ooh, nasty shot to the throat. He's got it. Oh, ho, ho. let's get it on.
downed opponent, and a double axe handle smash. Tag made, fresh man in. second, and that can be the instant that ends it all. Knife edge chop! Tag man, here comes the double team. This one may be over. Spit up by Pretty Deadly. Elton ending this fight right there. And he fights it off. How this match is still going on defies all reasoning. Tag! Can we get a timeout? Please, he's asking nicely. There's no timeouts allowed. Oh my, single leg drop kick. Off the ropes. Uh-oh, Yokozuna able to avert that. Oh, stiff headbutt. The face of Elton has seen better days, I can tell you that. Some force on that move. Oh, Ooh. I stop right to the chest. Are you kidding me? Hoping to end it here. This is it. Kick out. How in the world did he kick out? Prince trying to ramp things up. Sure, he's pumping himself up, but he's also giving his opponent a chance to recover. This isn't the smartest thing to do, antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him.
grueling matchup. And look who's here. Ah, oh, some taunting going on. Future matchup, perhaps? I'd say that's a highly likely possibility. The Queen of Spades about to grace the WWE Universe with true submission expertise. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, the NXT Women's Champion, the Queen of Spades, Shayna. A submission specialist, it's that mixed martial arts background that has made Baszler so feared. And her disposition, her lack of remorse, that makes her perhaps the most feared woman, WWE. No stranger to championship gold, Baszler has to be eyeing this as an opportunity to raise her stock in WWE. I fully believe that titles and wins are just bonuses for Shayna. What she really likes is the fight itself. A dominant force in the women's division. Absolute sheer aggression. And from Ayrshire, Scotland, one half of the Women's Tag Team Champions, Piper Niven. Niven has made it very clear as of late, whatever she wants, she will take. You're not kidding, Saxton. She basically declared herself a Tag Team Champion. And the funny part was, nobody objected. It doesn't matter how many tricks this woman has up her sleeve because the submission magician has an entire freaking spell book. You can see the focus and determination on her face. The powerhouse Piper Niven is ready to get this match underway. Lately, Piper has really had a chip on her shoulder. She's been eager to show the world what she's capable of by any means necessary. Yeah, she claims that she's just giving people the treatment they deserve. And in her mind, what they deserve is her particular brand of ruthless aggression. And then you have Shayna Baszler, who just loves to remind everyone that she's an actual fighter who really doesn't care about being a sports... As their opponent on their shoulders, and now in... Punching her way out. And breaks the hole. Oh, what a counter. Shayna Baszler loves to work a slow, methodical style and pace in the ring, and I imagine she'll maintain that strategy here tonight. It hasn't steered her wrong yet. Insulting. That's telling your opponent, you don't deserve to share this stage with me. Put into the corner now. Quick thinking from Piper. Uh-oh. And a suplex. Baszler dodges it. 
She just rocked Piper there, managing to shake the powerhouse. Yeah, Shayna showing that focus on breaking her opponent down inch by inch. Air whip! Just got thrown around like a sack of do you know what. Oh, stomping away. Taking this outside. This could be good. She keep her down. Kicks out on the pinfall attempt. She's still got a lot of stamina left. Two fists full of hair. This can't be legal. Oh! This dropped her like she was nothing. Oh, a hip drop to the gut. And she had Baszler scouted. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. Shot. Oh, right to the gut. Punishing the leg. We know that taking out the legs is one of the most effective strategies in any match. She turns it right around with a counter. Oh, 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 oh. compressing them with a splash. Powerhouse offense from Piper Niven. Making yet another statement. Places her right in the corner. Fighting back with a counter. Big forearm. Shayna Baszler. Suplex attempt. Able to go behind, though. Into a chop block. Arm ringer. Bang! What a punch. Assaulting the knee with purpose. A toss across. Right into a drop. The elbow to the arm. Ooh, what a forearm club. Arm ringer applied. Down for a European arm breaker. Right to the ankle. So precise. Another one. Oh, strong impact. Overhand shots and elbows and forearms. My God, what a striking display. Shayna Baszler's not playing games. And Baszler forcing her opponent to work that methodical style, to work a slow pace that Baszler is a master of. Baszler's thriving right now, just grinding her down. She did her homework there. Oh, driving the elbow. She Baszler locks it in. The Kirifuna clutch is applied. Kirifuna clutch. This one's over. This is over. Tap out time. Is she? The clutch is in. This one could be over. Uh, breaking the grip. Breaking the grip. She's taking things to ringside. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. It's been an elacious encounter thus far. The tides have swung in multiple directions. It's anyone's guess how this one's gonna end. She heads out, but this one can be lost by countout. Looks like Baszler is psyching herself up. The Queen of Spades showing her power. Oh, man. Yokosuka cutter. And that's now more effective because of how Shane has been breaking her down all match long. Will. Ah, Baszler, so devastating. Oh, oh 
Another stomp by Baszler. Taking it to the floor. What's she going to do? Oh, a flurry of strikes. This one is headed outside, guys. And Niven is showboating right now. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Up and spiked with a Michinoku driver. Hazardous situation for Shayna. The cover! Now oh, she kicked out. Unbelievable tenacity. Shayna Baszler will not let this go without a fight. Was not able to seal the neither superstar giving an inch here. Looks like we've got ourselves a brawl here. Just teeing off with that fight forever vibe. <laughs> Slugging away with everything they've got. Neither competitor is backing down. The WWE Universe showing the love for these superstars who have given them so much tonight. The willpower, the sheer guts of these two. Kick. Oh, that's disrespectful. Drop in the knee. Hey, right, Bates are looking to put this thing away. Carafuda driver. Oh, Carafuda driver into the clutch. There's no way. And she lets her free. But the damage was certainly done, Michael. Ooh. Well measured. Shoulders down. This could be the one that does it for her. This champ has been a fighting champion. No doubt about that. And unfortunately for their potential challenger, their dreams just went up in smoke. Oh, wait a minute. What would you say about potential challenger? Look who's here. Standing face to face with the champion. And the champion reminding this superstar where the power lies. Well, the queen of the boardroom, none other than Stephanie. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first, representing the authority from Greenwich, Connecticut, Stephanie McMahon. As cunning as she is cutthroat in and out of the ring. And don't forget, devious and diabolical. No, it sounds to me, Saxton, like you clearly can't accept a woman in charge. She is the most powerful woman in all of sports entertainment. Always ready to battle in the boardroom and the ring.
Zia Lee is not here to make friends. She is here to compete. One of a kind in this division is a vicious, dangerous martial artist and master of wushu. She is more than ready to be the master of the squared circle. of pressure on herself to succeed. Well, that's because she expects the best of herself and refuses to accept failure. Xia Li brings such a dramatic intensity to the ring. a lot of pride for her that comes with holding both these championships. You know what they say though, Cole. Pride comes before the fall. Think of what her accomplishment means to girls everywhere. Female competitors are even more inspired by seeing her with two titles. Just an amazing accomplishment. With the women's division being so fierce, double titles means double the list of challengers gunning for her. The queen has arrived. And boy, does she know how to make an entrance. From the Queen City, Charlotte Flair. A woman who helped usher in a genuine women's evolution in WWE alongside her fellow four horsewomen. The most highly decorated female superstar in the history of WWE and a guaranteed future first ballot Hall of Famer. Born into this business, the daughter of a two-time Hall of Famer, Charlotte was always destined for greatness, and she has definitely achieved it. deny the greatness of Charlotte Flair. She always finds a way to handle her business. And she shows why she's the most ruthless and dominant woman in sports entertainment history. Always guaranteed to have a vicious plan of attack. Most are playing checkers while the queen is a grand master at chess. And here we go with this tag team matchup. All set for competition in this one with Stephanie McMahon and Zia Lee. And standing across from them, it's a very tough test with Rhea Ripley and Charlotte Flair. You know this is a tough match for superstars who don't play well with others. You really need to find a way to properly mix your skills with your partners. Oh, man. That'll tear your hamstring. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Sharp elbow. Oh, 
Getting set up for something in the corner. Got the leg, well-placed elbow to the leg. And that's gonna leave a mark on Steph. She adjusts it and reverses it. <laughs> Stephanie gets countered. A counter answered by another counter. Snap air. There's the kick. She can end it here. She gets a quick kick out there. She just shocked everyone in the ring. Uh-oh. Turning the tables there. Brutality. Just going all out with every blow. Oh. Compromised position here. Down on the windpipe. Are set up in the corner. Boom! This their opponent's oh, legs oh. is alley oop. So much damage inflicted. Sharp punch. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. tracks. Oh, what a forearm! Oh, straight forearm! Oh, an eye rake. That's not right, but effective. Up and around and down. This could be it. Cover! She kicks out with authority after two. Close call. That was almost lights out. What's coming next? A back suplex. She's starting to tire a little. This is when you have to take advantage of tag team rules and get yourself some breathing room. No good reason to stay in this right now. A well-timed dodge. Wrapping the arm over that top rope. Attacking the arm. Trying to take away that grip, that range of motion on that end. Uh -oh. Stephanie McMahon, impressive sequence by Ripley. Ripley is headed up top. Watch out. Feeling froggy. The powerhouse, Rhea Ripley looking to force her opponent. Submission, submission locked in. Ah, oh, look at this. On oh, a save, just in the nick of time. Charlotte tagged in. Here comes the queen. Ouch. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Answering right back with the European uppercut. Sent into the corner. And Charlotte with a reversal. She's looking for the win. Did it, it 
was not easy, but will emerge victorious tonight. Yeah, that's one of the performances you talk about for years to come. Well, we've got some company here. Some congratulatory company. It seems to me like this celebration might be cut a little short tonight. There is new business on the horizon. No rest for the weary. is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, the team of Katana Chance and Kaden Carter. They love to have fun, but they are all business inside the ring. Hey, they dance as good as they wrestle. Go, Kaden. Go, Kaden. Byron, I'm a much better dancer. You know I've won many dance contests. The consummate underdog of the women's division, Zelina Vega. And their opponents, first representing the LWO from Queens, New York, Zelina Vega! Zelina has seen a tremendous amount of success lately. She won the Queen's crown and reformed the LWO. And Zelina's not showing any signs of slowing down. Zelina was no stranger to success before, but now she seems destined for the top. She is quite simply the baddest. Yeah, and the competition is going to find that out in just a moment. And from Venice Beach, California, the baddest woman on the planet, Ronda Rousey. She won the Women's Royal Rumble the night she returned to WWE and is once again dominant. Ronda Rousey's got her game face locked. She is ready to compete. Katana Chance and Caden Carter, two superstars who refuse to let their diminutive stature define them. In fact, they even consider their size an asset. 
Yeah, for as small as they are, they more than make up for that with their athleticism and unorthodox offensive style. Chance and Carter's in-ring dynamic really is unmatched. They can do things in the ring we've never even seen before. Good to be in Orlando, an adopted home of sorts for WWE. Yeah, there's lots of fun parks here, too. Saxton goes to those discount theme parks, just like he's a discount broadcaster. Hey, don't knock it till you try it, Corey. Not many people go to it, but that means there's no lines. Hey, want to go with me, Michael? No, Byron. No chance. Ever. Oh, right on the arm. Not good. Ah. Uh, Oh, man, looks like her opponent's not going to need a chiropractor. Oh, my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Boom, face first. Oh, look at this, roll up, right into a kick. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. Oh, and she turns it around. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Oh! Oh! He is looking to do some serious harm. Kick! Return fire from Zelina. Whatever's plan here can't be good. And the hesitation to deliver an attack ends up being costly. And that was an effective attack, guys. Well, the attempt underway, but the ref is still distracted. And quick getting the arm up. Staying in this one. And Katana is clearly looking for a fight here. Yeah. Oh, double knee face breaker. Great awareness as she proves to be too quick. Chick, chick on the mark. And Katana's confidence has to be rocked after that. Oh, dropping down all their way. Manager grabbing anything from under the ring is beyond unfair. It's just downright evil. And she had Zelina's number there. Jumping neckbreaker. Ouch. Oh, that was just malicious. Insulting. Making a mockery of your opponent could eventually backfire. Oh, look at this. Roll up. Rolling through into a kick. Pushed into the corner. Oh, right to the body. For the record, Saxton, you and I would never have that kind of chemistry. Hey, I'd be a great teammate. I've seen you trip over your own left foot. No thank you. She's lost some of that energy she had earlier. Yeah, this is exactly why constant, frequent tags are so important in a match like this. To keep fresh. Look at this, just what a barrage of stops. You can feel the resentment building with each stop there. Oh, boom! Beautiful suplex. The ref's count ain't stopping. The clock is ticking here. What is she going for here? Momentum is really on Ronda's side. Rousey looking very cerebral. Oh. Hammer lock. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Effectively targeting the arm. Tag made, she's in. Just doing anything they can to chip away at the base. Saw it open. That should do it right there. And that'll do it. It's finally over. Here are your winners. The team of Zelina Vega and Ronda Rousey. 
An emphatic victory for your winners. An impressive effort from this duo. The party's over and their music isn't playing. Chance and Carter just not able to get it done tonight. spearheaded a movement to take this women's division to a level of competition it has never seen before. It's about time I heard you pay the queen her proper respect, Saxton. The whimsical Wendy Chu. When Wendy Chu gets pushed, oh, she'll bring it. And I don't mean the pillow. And her opponents, first from Chinatown, New York, Wendy Chu. I hope Wendy's ready to compete, because when the bell rings, there's no snooze button. Uh, Wendy is more than ready, and I think the opposition is going to be very alarmed tonight. <laughs> you guys get it? Alarmed? Am I asleep right now? Because this is a nightmare. Plans on waking up everyone to her potential. I disagree. I'd say there's a 50-50 chance she sleepwalks through this one. Guys, here comes the hot mess. Uh, emphasis on mess. Bite your tongue, Saxton. from Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. One half of the Women's Tag Team Champions, Chelsea Green! You know, I actually heard that Chelsea Green is the kind of person that'll order a huge salad, eat the whole thing, and then complain to the manager that something was wrong with it. Um, that's not out of the ordinary. It's like wrestling a great match and then learning afterwards that you, Byron, did commentary on it. <sighs> Chelsea's ready to make a hot mess out of the competition tonight. Awareness is the key for a triple threat where one mistake can cost you the match. 
We are set for action with Charlotte. Wendy Chu and Chelsea Green. It's every competitor for themselves, gentlemen, and I guarantee all three superstars are thinking about that right now. I honestly can't imagine thinking about anything else in a triple threat match. I understand going into this with a strategy and a plan, but I have to think that flies right out the window once the bell rings. Bulldog! Turning the tables! We got a little tandem offense in our future. And, how about it? and that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. Driven down face first. What's Wendy hatching here? DDT! Focused attack on the leg. She's going under the ring now. She has planned with that kendo stick. Triple threat matches are about as dangerous as they come. So here's my advice. Be ready to take some punishment. No one wins a triple threat without getting some bumps and bruises along the way. Just get in there and fight your heart out. Sounds like a straightforward, effective approach to this unique type of match. With the Larian. And Chelsea can't be happy absorbing the brunt of that one. Green landing an impressive attack, trying to dominate the opposition. Oh, look at that scope slam. Conan and drops the knee. Fishing for something beneath the ring. Charlotte just rubbing it in now. Got the underhook. Bang! Backbreaker. Knees meet face. Fought off with an elbow. She's stunned in the corner. Oh, jaw shattering. Oh, a kendo stick wrapped around the head. Oh. Ooh, what a four on Neck breaker. And Wendy not at all worried about it right now. Nice side headlock applied. Oh. And Flair gets that turn back on her. <laughs> nice Japanese arm drag. Chelsea looking evasive. Ooh, the forearm connects. Right to the kidneys from behind. Doing whatever it takes. I see how it is. Going to take any shortcut to buy with the cover. Fends off the three count. No celebrations yet. Oh, debilitating elbow drop. She saw that one coming. Oh, sending them up. Going to hoist them up high. All the way up and all the way down. Far away slam. A nice kip up. Uh oh. Wow. She can end it here. She kicks out at one. Just kicking out at one takes a lot in a match like this. Oh, come on. Get back in the ring and fight. Oh, maybe she wants to take the fight outside. Ooh, four. Connects. That attack might have diminished Charlotte's sense of superiority. Very efficient form of offense from Wendy. At the front face lock apply. Nice suplex. Man, that was a hard landing. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. It takes a certain level of athleticism to pull that off. The Queen looking disgusted to be in the ring with her opposition now. Ooh, and a shot to the body. Jumping face buster. <laughs> Just brutalizing their opponent with forearms to the side of the face. Great strength being shown here. Right across the lens. Here's the cover. What a performance and what a win. Here is your winner, Charlotte Flair.
tremendous victory in this triple threat match. Triple threat matches tend to live up to the hype, and this one was no different, you guys. Apollo is here and he is determined. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Benway State, Nigeria. Weighing in at 241 pounds. Apollo! Just take a look at Apollo's eyes. He is completely focused on succeeding. We've seen many forms of Cruz, but this might be the best version yet. I think we're gonna see Cruz hit even greater heights than before. We know he has the power, the speed, the skills. Now Apollo needs to tie it all together to reach that next level. Dusty's at NXT to set an example for his NXT kids. his opponent from Austin, Texas, weighing in at 289 pounds, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. One of the most charismatic, captivating superstars to ever step foot inside the ring. One of the forefathers of NXT has returned home. The one and only American Dream. That's the bell, and here we go with the American Dream. Heart. Guts and that mesmerizing swagger has helped Dusty overcome plenty of adversity throughout his career. You won't find the word quit in the son of a plumber's vocabulary. Rhodes is that 275 pounds of blue-eyed soul, and when it's all in the line, the dream rises to the occasion. But Apollo Crews is as focused as he's ever been, and he's going to put up quite the fight. Cruz has let the gimmicks and flash distract him. He has lost focus of the mission, but he's back on track now. And back on track for Crews. Look out! Diving and hammered! Playing possum! Shoulders down! And he manages to kick out at one. These men knew this match is going to be hard fought. Dusty Rhodes just likes to fight, especially with that powerful elbow. How does he put his skills to work in this match, Corey? Well, Dusty's rarely the strongest, fastest, or most technical superstar in the ring. But Rhodes has never let that keep him down for long and often uses that as motivation to rise to the occasion and overcome any challenge. Whoa. 
And now thrown back into the ring. Oh, painfully driven down. With the counter. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Scoop slam. Uh-oh. What reflexes to stop Dusty. He just barely dodges. Well-placed kick. Oh, looking to cripple the leg. Cross the shoulders, up and gut check. And it looked like Dusty got caught hard by that. Yeah, that's the kind of offense that opens people's eyes to Apollo. Uh-oh. And Apollo Crews reverses it. Strong suplex. That kick will stop you in your tracks. Taking out the knee. From the second row. Goodness, what a sunset flip. Vicious right forearm. Clubbing strike breaks up that move. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. But this opponent still fighting back. how you establish dominance. It might not be flashy, but sometimes you just gotta toss another person to make a statement. Right across the back of the neck. The American Dream! He's headed to the pay window, Michael! And now Apollo is being measured. A bionic elbow, look at the American Dream go! For the series of bionic elbows. That's won it for Rhodes before. Uh-oh, this is just vicious, vicious arm stop. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. And he gets set back into the ring. for that. Rocked by a jab from the Dream. The bionic elbow from the Dream. And put it if you will. We are seeing a lot of guts, a lot of determination out there. You have to wonder where that one turning point to end this will come from. From the top. Elbow drop. Good Lord. And Dusty is taking command of this one. Dusty Rhodes rising to the occasion here and is really starting to roll. Ah, clubbing blow to the back. He switches it back around. Disrupts the attack with an elbow to the gut. Starting to feel the Does he get him here? Dusty Rhodes with a victory. Here is your winner, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. The American Dream stands in victory. But Cruz isn't going to let this loss derail him or keep him down for long.
Here's someone who always has a plan and always knows who he's dealing with. It's Seth freaking Rollins. Think of everything Seth Rollins has been through. Everything he's accomplished, he can adapt to any situation. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the NXT Champion, Seth Freakin' Rollins! A decade of being WWE's freaking workhorse and the WWE Universe is finally singing his praises. And the WWE Universe serenading Rollins with his battle hymn. Time for Seth freaking Rollins to conduct another masterpiece. Guys, shut up. I got this. It's fight night! And his opponent, accompanied by the Celtic warrior, Sheamus, representing the Brawling Brutes from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds. The NXT UK Champion, Butch! Ladies and gentlemen, fight night is officially underway. Yeah, after the brawling brutes competed in their first War Games match, I think the entire WWE Universe developed a new found respect for the brutes. We are about to see the fight of a lifetime. While he can be rash and temperamental at times, the fire that drives Seth Rollins in the ring is undeniable. You can't deny that he's a very passionate competitor who goes after the win with all he's got. And that volatile temper of Rollins can actually fuel him in the ring, making him an unpredictable and savage opponent to deal with. Yeah, draw Rollins' fury at your own risk because it will burn you in the end. And I hope he's ready for Butch. Though, I really don't know how anyone prepares for an opponent like Butch. It does seem fruitless, Saxton. Butch may be the most unhinged superstar in WWE, but the fire that burns inside any superstar seems to burn twice as hot inside Butch. And a kick. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. Playing possum, shoulders down. Gets the shoulder up. Somehow, some way. He's one step ahead there. Looks like they're looking for it. No! Forearm to the base of the skull. Yeah, Butch seemingly stopped in his tracks, guys. And Rollins is wearing a self-satisfied smirk after landing that. I can't imagine what is going through your head when you're facing off against an opponent as unhinged as Butch. Well, if you're not careful, it'll be Butch's fist that goes through your head. You can't out brawl him and trying to match his intensity will run your tank dry in a hurry. I'd say the Kimura, the Kimura! The Kimura lock! He doesn't have much time before his arm snaps. Great job fighting out. Uh-oh, monkey flip. <laughs> I love it. Rollins dot. Uh-oh. Here they come! I can't believe this is happening. Oh, I can't. I, it's absolutely nuts. He can end it here. And he kicks out at two. And frustration might be starting to set in. Butch. Uh-oh. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. Oh, that'll 
keep Butch at bay. Oh, man. Just breaking down the opponent. And Butch fending him off. Oh, and a reversal. Planning on what to do next. Planted face first. I see a cut too on Butch after that. Just ruthless. It goes without saying that there is a certain disdain for your opponent when you pull off something like that. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Hits him with the counter. Oh, caught him. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Double underarm hook. Blocked and countered with a vicious clothesline. Oh, pressing their foot right into the gut. That's got to hurt. Oh, that'll keep Butch at bay. Uh oh. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Vicious right forearm. Oh, what a close lock. He is just reeling from that offense. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. To the back of the neck. And any one of those shots could take you out for good. Rollins dead to rights in desperate need of salvation. Big reversal by Rollins. Staved off that attack. And no one could have predicted the length these superstars would go to to steal the show tonight. Hook up and backdrop super. Wait, 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 wait. That came out of nowhere. And an unexpectedly quick end to this match. Clever is really the only word that can describe that victory. However you want to describe it, it certainly worked. Oh, 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 are you guys ready? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Pennsylvania, weighing in at 200 pounds, the NXT Champion, Adam Cole! You know, this person takes some pride in their work, but who could blame them? Few are as gifted in the ring as this performer. Wow, you are laying it on thick, Saxton. Don't worry, I'm sure they'll hear you when they watch this match 10 times before bed tonight.
Lock up against Eddie Guerrero. Defend against Guerrero family values or uh, well, lack thereof. One of the all-time greats, the Hall of Famer, Latino Heat. From El Paso, Texas, weighing in at 228 pounds, Eddie Guerrero. And without question, one of the most pivotal superstars in the history of our industry. Now you're right, Byron, a true hero on both sides of the Monday Night Wars, from WCW Cruiserweight Innovator to WWE Champion and Hall of Famer. Well, Eddie Guerrero was always seen as an underdog. Granted, he would cheat on occasion to even the playing field. But hey, how can he not get behind a guy like Latino Heat? I gotta say, the title has been looking good around this man's waist. They always ask whether the man makes the title or the title makes the man. In this case, it looks like a mutually beneficial relationship to me. We know he looks the part. Only question is whether he can be the part. This won't be a title match, but it is sure to be a difficult test for the champion. Well, I hope he has his head on a swivel for this one because he has Eddie Guerrero to deal with. Eddie never met an angle he didn't exploit to win a match. And I say that with the utmost admiration. Forget seeing the whole chessboard. Eddie's practically rigged the game. Oh, man, a drop kick. He moves just in time. And scissors Ooh, take down. Oh, oh, very nice. Kick to the midsection. Could be thinking about the gory special. Yes. Oh, the gory. Trying to find a way out. Elbow into an arm drag. Beautiful escape. Ooh. Evading offense. <laughs> Tossed with the arm drag. Corey, let's talk strategy. We know Eddie can hang with opponents of all shapes and sizes. So how does opponent prepare for tonight? Whether you're a cruiserweight or a heavyweight, you must keep Latino Heat on the ground. Cut off the ring and don't let him pick up the pace of the match. Eddie Guerrero is at his most dangerous when he can combine his speed and strength together. amount of cardio and strength. Now a brain buster. You gotta wonder how much damage has been inflicted after a brain buster like that. Oh, Ooh, what a knee lift. Somebody better check his nose. Face wash. He skirts around it. Big clothesline. He may be in a bad way here. Big assault from Guerrero. He knows now is the time to cook with gas. Picture perfect drop kick. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. <laughs> oh, that'll scratch you up. Oh, hanging off for dear life. Into a power bomb. A power bomb's not into the cover. Kicked out. He's determined to keep this matchup going. Oh, man. Ouch. Eddie able to defend against that. This athleticism is off the charts. Eddie Guerrero looking for the submission. It's locked in deep. It is painful. It is the lasso from El Paso. The lasso from El Paso. A reversal, though. And Eddie's ring IQ didn't have an answer for that move. Just caught flush. Scouted. 
What's it going to take to keep this guy down? Heads out of the ring. What's next? He's taking this to the floor now. Oof, that can knock you out. Oh, colliding with a barricade. Oh, he retaliates. And Eddie Guerrero looking to hype himself up here. Saving us from having to sit through that. And gets tossed back into the mat. Vicious right forearm. Got a hold of the arm, just wrenching. Oh, man, Armbreaker takes him down. We're about to see. Last shot. Oh, that could end Guerrero right now. Shoulders down. And he's still in the game. Incredible kick out from Guerrero. Eddie clinging on to life in this match. And the heaviest hitter in the arsenal was not enough. Just disrespectful. You have to respect these men for taking it to the next level. This one's becoming too close to call. Yeah, it's hard to predict how this one will end. Up high. And nobody's there. Saw that one coming. Oh, man. Visible damage to Eddie's face now. And Eddie once again on the receiving end of some effective offense there. This is extremely dangerous territory for Eddie to be in. Into the corner now. Top rope hurricane. Foot to the belly. Hoisted up into a power position, but steady punches provide an escape plan. He foiled that attempt. Kick to the section prevents the attack. Top rope for Eddie. Look at that punch. That one fails to land. Missed the mark. The superstar enjoying his victory. And the loser of this match offering a handshake. How about that? The winner oh. has uh, no interest. I beat oh. you. Get out of my ring. How okay, about that? how hard would it have been just to shake the man's hand? Because it's not about feeling, Saxton. It's about victory. It's about winning and staying on top at all costs.
the original, the official, the only club that matters. The following is a triple threat tag team match. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 431 pounds, Carl Anderson and AJ Styles, the OC. You know you are in for an all out fight facing the OC. Two men with a high in ring IQ, high intensity, and high goals to achieve. Ravishing Rick Rude has and arrived. From Robbinsdale, Minnesota, Weighing in at 240 pounds, Ravishing Rick Rude. Take a look, Sweat Hogs. That is what a real man looks like. I don't know if there's enough room in this building for yours and Rick Rude's ego. An Intercontinental Champion in WWE, a Heavyweight Champion in WCW. Rude is as dangerous as he is ravishing. Here comes a true rising star in the game. From Baltimore, Maryland, weighing in at 209 pounds, Ashanti the Adonis. Look at Ashanti sauntering to the ring, looking very confident, even looking a little arrogant. This man is a highly gifted athlete. High flyer who packs a serious punch. Get ready because here he comes, the greatest, Muhammad Ali. And from Louisville, Kentucky, weighing in at 236 pounds, Muhammad. Muhammad Ali is no stranger to a WWE ring. He's battled Hall of Famers and sold out stadiums and was a guest referee at WrestleMania. Well, Ali is undoubtedly the greatest, but he needs to remember that this is a different time with a new locker room full of hungry competitors. Muhammad Ali is ready for this one and determined to show how great he truly is. It's time to get on. As Muhammad says, his opponents got two chances, slim and none. Tonight, we're going to see the master of the sweet science go to work. It's fight night! And we are about to see a powerhouse unleashed. And representing the Brawling Brutes, from the United Kingdom, weighing in at 253 pounds, Ridge Holland! Ridge Holland learned his craft from some of the biggest names in British wrestling, but he now sits under the learning tree of perhaps the best brawler in WWE history. A man 
someone you definitely don't want to start a fight with. There is a mean streak a mile long that turns on once that bell rings. Ridge would prefer you use meters instead, but I completely agree. Tag Team Tornado match underway. Multiple teams facing off, but there will only be one winner. Everyone competing at once. You really need to know the status of your partner and every opponent in this match. In the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. And what a maneuver we just saw there. Just in time. And he retaliates on Adonis. Great reversal. Oh, man. Inverted backbreaker. Ow. Strong counter from Adonis. And some say the only limit in no DQ is your own imagination. Right. So Saxon wouldn't stand a chance. For everyone else, though, the sky is the limit. Anything you wish you could do to get a win, you could probably arrange it here. So my advice is to hold nothing back. Uh-oh. 
Oh, the power, the strength, the dominant. And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Just a barrage of strikes. Big right hook. this one by the end of it.